Hello, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Um, I'd like to talk today quickly about some new strategies that I've adopted personally and a really interesting experience that I, that I had today um, that was quite illuminating for me. Um, so the, the practice that I want to mention is I got some advice from a rather intelligent man a few months ago and he said that I can create some purpose and, and some intention around my day every day by stating the words, when I wake up, I love my life. And I, I took to doing that for, for a while, and then I realized that it had fallen off of my plate, oddly. And I, I, wasn't, I wasn't waking up anymore. I, I think I did it for probably about two weeks straight and found it quite helpful, but then stopped. So, I, just a couple days ago, decided that I'd like to remind myself every morning that I love my life, and I did this. And I put it up um, in a place in my room where I see it when I wake up. And I'm, I'm finding that to be quite helpful in terms of reminding myself that I can love my life and to remember to love the things that I do love about my life, which obviously, with, with, with the practice of intention, creates some, um, some momentum, some positive energy momentum within your life. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to bring up was I was, I was immersed today in, uh, it was a presentation by a gentleman who does uh, therapy, so specifically uh, psychological therapy, um, and the presentation itself was around grief, and, and, uh, and it was particularly um, illustrating, like it, w it was a group of us, and um, he basically walked us through a process through th that that he was you know highlighting that um, it is potentially a tool that we could make use of for for dealing with grief for 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 grief specifically um, and it, I, t I I mentioned specifically and not that I'm I, I'm not a materialistic person or anything like that, but I mentioned that I have in the past experienced grief around the loss of objects, which is, you know, I think uh, not necessarily recognized today within our society as being okay. Or maybe that's just within the circles that I float. I don't know. You tell me. <clears throat> Anyways, I found it really interesting because the process that he took us through, it involved engagement within the entire group. We got, we got answers to all of the questions that he was fielding from, I would say, for the most part, every member of the group, there was about 15 of us. And, you know, each one of us had our own particular perspectives that we were bringing to the conversation, which was really illuminating. Obviously, all of you are, have heard me talk a number of times about collaboration, but it was really illuminating specifically because we went into the endeavor uh, with a goal in mind. Our goal was to discuss grief. And I've, I've found that that's actually become somewhat of a recurring theme. A friend of mine and I met up about two weeks ago and both of us felt at the end of our session that we needed to make the comment that this was, that, that our meetup specifically was one of the most productive meetups that we had made. And we had gone into that meetup with a particular goal in mind. And it's, to me, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's really not rocket science or anything like that, but <laughs> to me that's illuminating 
that if you're going into a collaborative process, you're usually, or at least, I don't like shitting on people, but you should have a goal in mind around that collaborative process that you're going into. So those are my two notes for today. I hope it's uh, useful and live beautifully.